Here's G. Back here in Atlanta. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Tim Wood. The 3 1. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. That'll fire up the dugout. Home run number 60 on the year. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1 0. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Swung on, belted. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a double. It's Aaron Judge now. Two for six so far in the series. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Now a long throw home. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2-0. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's Austin Riley. In there. And so now 1-2. and two. Singy Reed Detmers, 10th overall pick in the 2020 draft. You're talking about a guy who is a really good player at Louisville. And in his rookie year, he authored a no-hitter. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. The pitch. Judge on the run. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. Judge over at second. One down. Started after it. Appeal to first. No swing. And that's off the inside edge. Full count now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Here's Sean Murphy. That's, That's down and in. Two balls, two strikes. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. Here's the throw to the plate, but it's offline. He will score. It's 3-zip. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Stepping in, Vaughn Grissom. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way. There's a swing and a drive. And it hits the fence. In comes the run from third to add on. And it's 4 nothing. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Went deep in the ball game last night. Ball to strike. The pitch. And strike two. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. The one two. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He flexes his power with that swing, his 29th of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 7-0. The left-hander on now, Jose Quijada. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Now here's the switch-inning power threat, Tim Wood. Homer to lead off the ball game. Gonna count one and two. Oh, 
Here comes a pitch. On the ground. Urshela to first in time. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. The wind and the pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And another ball. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. So a man aboard. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. Big game last night. He went four for five. And the righty deals. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Hit on the ground might be two. To second, that's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Bottom of the inning, now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. No left fielder. Randy Arozarena. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, one strike. Foul ball. The pitch. A Rosarena tries to hold up, appeal to first, and Earl Hendricks punches him out. That's a strikeout. Now bad, right fielder. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Singled and scored his first time. Next pitch has popped up. Stassi puts it away, and there's two down. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Next pitch is outside. Two and one. And a foul ball. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And he goes airborne to make the catch. Welcome back. Here's a speed threat, Brett Phillips. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And now it's one and two. Phillips tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. And that's a swing, according to umpire Ed Drummond. At the play, Andrew Velasquez. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Misses off the inside. Two and one. to right and that one's going to leave the park out of here home run a solo shot and they're on the scoreboard it's 7-1 Gio Urshela to the plate 0 for 1 so far and a 2-1 on the way and he blows that one by him at 100 The punch out there. Two gone now. The batter batter now it's Anthony Rendon. Anthony Caught looking his first Rendon. time up.
The wind of the pitch. Grounder off the pitcher. Throw on to Olsen. That ends the frame. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The 2 1. Right side, hard hit. Rendon, throw to first. One up, one down. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. The other way, and base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And the batter now, Vaughn Grissom. And the pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. First base And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. And the pitch. And now one and two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So first and second with two outs. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. He had a big three-run homer in his first trip. The pitch. Murphy at second. Grissom at first. Two out of the inning. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. He's got it, and that will end the inning. Back at Truist Park, new inning getting started. Here's Trout. Number 27, Mike Trout. The wind of the pitch. And a strike in there. That misses, and now it's three and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. A Rosarena drifts towards it, leaps at the wall, and he's got it. And now it's the Angels' cleanup battle. Taylor Ward struck out swinging his first time. And here it comes. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. Riding to the plate. Popped up, Albies should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Out towards left center. Wood gets under it. Makes the catch in and over. here in Atlanta, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Tim Wood. The 1-1. Yeah, there's a strike. You know, these Braves putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Paul 
pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Popped up. Makes a nice running catch. Two down. Now back. Right fielder. John. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Two down, nobody on. And now the count filled up three and two. Got him swinging. Back here at the ballpark, Brandon Drury to the plate. The designated hitter, Brandon Drury. And a 1-1. And that one is inside. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. 2-2. That one ripped left field. That's back. And it's out of here. An absolute blast to left. His ninth homer of the year, and they inch closer. It's 7-2. Here's the catcher to hit. Max Stassi. He's 0 for 1. And now two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. That's in there. It's two and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Left hand batter waits. And there's a ball. Stassi aboard here at first with nobody out. Fouls one off. Two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next offering is fouled back. Two two on the way. Out towards right center. That's well struck back there. And it's off the wall. The relay. And he's in there as a run scores. Yeah, everything came together for him. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Runner leads away at second and misses inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So the lineup flips over. Gio Urshela steps in. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Swings and misses. Gassed it right by him. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Anthony Rendon. Man at second. 
And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Jaime Berea. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Now it's going to be Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Ozzy Albies, a young guy that's putting together an impressive resume already two times in all starts. Twice he's won the Silver Slugger, and he's one of the smallest players in the league. The 2 1. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. There was nothing the cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Yeah, but he packs a lot of punch in that bat, especially from the right side. This is a guy that had four grand slams before his 23rd birthday. The only other players with four grand slams before their 23rd birthday, Ken Griffey Jr., Eddie Matthews, Ted Williams, and John Carlos Stanton. Albies at first, one gone. And that one is lifted in the air. Phillips, as this one sized up, hauls it in to away. Vaughn Grissom now, next up for the Braves. At the belt and fires. And that's outside. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So in now for the Angels, Mike Trout. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Righty delivers. In the air to left center. Wood under it. And puts the squeeze on that. One away. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Now bad at it. The first now, this guy's is. definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third. And he won around. Rule the swing. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Ugly hack of the off-speed pitch in the dirt. Man at first, and next for L.A., Brandon Drury. Three one now, and that one fouled off. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And here's a three-two. So now two on and two outs. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just nice. seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. The 2-1. Swing and a ball lifted left field. A Rosarena moving under it. That is the inning.
back at Truist Park. Bottom of the sixth inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Matt Olson. Kicks and fires. That misses. Two balls and a strike. And now two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Goes down looking. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. Yeah, the right-hander deals. That's off the mark. Three balls and a strike. Well struck right field. Phillips going back. Back some more. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now it's going to be Tim Wood. This guy has turned into a beast. Here's a 1-1. And a swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The one-two. Checks a swing, appeal to third, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. We'll see another payoff pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And that's ball four. You can stomach a two out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. So two down, and next for Atlanta, Randy or Rosarena. The pitch. Run around the goal. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Wood leads off first with two down to the inning. To the right side. Throws to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. That ends the inning. Nick Anderson in. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Number 61, Nick Anderson. So in now for the Angels, Brett Phillips. The Halos in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. And now, Andrew Velasquez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Anderson ready to work. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Riding to the plate. 
just missed. Okay. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two out. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Gio Urshela. Now fly ball to right center. Judge has it sized up, makes the grab, and that's the third out. Lee Joyner for the traditional seventh inning stretch. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Brian Tapera. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Number 52, Ryan Tapera. Here is Aaron Judge. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Here's a 1-1. And the slider just misses. Let's get it going, Greg. There's a strike. Ooh. Hit on the ground to the right side, and it goes just foul. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. That one out to right. Phillips moving under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Then there's one down. So digging in, Austin Riley. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the righty deals. Slider clips the zone. And it's even up. The pitch. Got it by him for the K. Now it's the second now baseman, Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Towards first. Walsh takes it himself out with room to spare, and that's the inning. New pitcher now, Joe Jimenez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. The second base, Anthony Rendon. And one and two. One and two. The pitch. In the air on the infield. Riley drifts towards it. And there's one down. Here's Mike Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And he deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Next to hit, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward.
And that's outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Two two now. Next offering is outside. Three balls. Two strike. Payoff pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Three two on the way. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Carlos Estevez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So here's Murphy now. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Bounce to the right side. He takes it on his yeah. own. And a quick out number one. Here comes a pitch. And now two and one. In the air right field. Phillips snags it on the run. Matt Olson up to the plate. The first base is Matt Olson. The 1 1. Fly ball down the line, and it's just foul. And a 1 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. One, two now. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. All over that one right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough right to get right through right. the infield. There's not a whole here. lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. There's a ball. Bro, save! And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Hit hard. That gets through. Here comes Olsen around third. He will score, and the lead is up to five. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Rustar Grotterol. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Next to hit, Tim Wood. In for a strike. And a count one and two. Ozuna, the runner at first with two gone. And a ball evens the count. Out to short, Velasquez. And the inning is over. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell, and he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. The first baseman, Jared Walsh.
So now one and two. One ball. Great. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So now here's the DH. Brandon Drury. The 1-1. One -one. On the ground to the left. Riley fires to first. And they're down to their last out. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Bounce to the left side. No, no, and no, that's no, just no. foul. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further, get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. 8-3 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.